All right. This is a video of the Ellicott City Wall in action. As you can see here, there's a lot of stormwater runoff coming. Keep turning, keep turning. Get this stuff in the gutter. Okay, don't go so fast. And here is... Whoa! Look at that waterfall! So we're going to take a look at the drainage area now. So again, see the water in the gutter. <laughs> okay, this one. Nice bump. Uh -oh. is coming from. You can see that all this existing impervious cover generates a lot of water. It's too fast, you see. You can't move it that fast. Water. Where is this water coming from? It looks like it's coming from the downspout. It's from the courthouse through these little conveyance channels, overflowing this tree pit. And here it comes. We can also look up and see all the runoff that is sheet flowing down the driveway. Okay, and this is the runoff that is, if we follow it, going into our fancy new rock wall, cascading over the waterfall. Let's find out where the runoff goes after it goes down the waterfall. Huh, Macy? Share model. <laughs> Bless you. All right. We're almost there. So again, sheet flowing across this road into this storm drain inlet. And as we've already shown, creates this waterfall over this riprap rip -rap channel, as they call it. You can see this is quite the storm, so we're going to get some of it overflowing into the yard and lit great and that's a lot of water you know I mean think about it. all of this water is coming from the upland area by the courthouse and the parking lot okay so where does it go I'm pretty sure it actually crosses somehow it goes into this bioretention which whoa this doesn't look like a bioretention this looks more like a a swimming pool. Very cool. Okay. So then where does it go from there? Hold on. Ah. Okay. She's right. It cascades. <laughs> Down. There we go. Down into our second bioretention cell. Wow. We got some floating mulch going on for all you storm water nerds out there. Yes, and we've got yet another little notch where it shall continue to cascade. Holy cow! Follow the water. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, where are we going? Ah, I wonder if that's part of the design. It should be cascading, but I guess that cell hasn't filled up yet. There's a look at see. And this one doesn't have any standing water yet. Not bad. Okay, let's go check out the one over there that's across the parking lot. 
Okay, so, right. let's pause the video. All right, this is part two. We're now gonna take a look at the bioretention on the other end of the parking lot. See, we were standing over there before. Now we're back here, and as you can see, all the water that's coming down the road that didn't go into that upper storm drain, right? So hopefully you can see this water running in the gutter, sheet flowing across the driveway straight towards me. Hey, look at this great downspout over here, or I'm not even sure what that is. Look at the water coming out of that. Let's check that out. Let's get a closer view. Right, my little videographer? Yes. Wow. That's a lot of water. Okay, so let's go back. We're following the water. Comes down into the gutter. Comes around the corner here. Now obviously the stuff on the other side of the street is not being captured. But the stuff on this side of the street is now, again, cascading down this riprap channel and filling up the bioretention. And this one really is full. Let's see if we can get a little shot. There it is. It's filled up the first cell and now it's filled up the second cell. And if it's so big like it is in this storm, it'll overflow into this yard inlet here. So that's our public service announcement for today. Uh-oh.